This is the speaking test of International English Language Testing System taking place in Silet. The examiner name is Mukul Ahmed. The examiner number is 807506. The candidate name is Tufail Ahmed Dabib. Candidate number is 507985. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Mukul Ahmed. May I know your full name, please? Well, my name is Tufail Ahmed Dabib. Uh, where are you from? Well, I am from Khadim Nagar, uh, which is a suburb of uh, Silet City. Are you a student or job holder? Currently, I am studying. I recently completed my HSC examination from a college. Can I see your ID card, please? Yes, sure. Thank you very much, sir. Speaking has three parts and I'll give the instruction for each part. Are you ready to start? Yeah. In the first part of the test, I would like to ask you some questions related to you and your personal life. Let's talk okay. about fashion. What kind of clothes do you like to wear? Actually, it depends uh, on the occasion um, where I am going to join. Uh, but I like to wear um, often simple clothes, uh, like simple uh, colors. That's it. What kind of clothes do you never wear? Well, I have a problem uh, related to my eyes, uh, which uh, is called uh, light sensitivity. So I try to avoid like uh, so colored uh, or highly colored uh, cloths. Uh, for an example, uh, so much uh, red and um, like yellow, those kinds of stuffs. Where do you buy most of your clothes? Well, I uh, buy my uh, clothes uh, from a shopping center, which is just two kilometers far uh, from my home. Um, the quality of the products they provide are really, really good. Have you ever owned a uniform? As I've told you, I have completed my HSC from a college. In my college days, I had to own a uniform. They were really strict about uh, the dress up or the uniform and the other stuff. So yes, I did. Thank you very much. Let's talk about flowers. Do you like flowers and why? Of course, um, I love flowers because uh, they are a symbol of love, beauty and uh, passion. So I really love them. What is your favorite flower? Well, my favorite um, flower is rose. Uh, actually, rose is a symbol of love. Uh, so I love uh, this flower a lot. Do you think Flowers are important. Okay. Yes, I think flowers are really important because you see in many uh, occasions in our country um, we use flower um, uh, for the beautification um, as a symbol of love and affection and as well uh, we uh, j uh, give these people as a symbol of peace. In your country, do people give flowers as gift? Well, yes. In Bangladesh, there is an um, enormous tradition of uh, exchanging gifts. For an example, um, in Valentine's Day, uh, the, uh, the flower demand of flower um, is um, very high and people um, buy flower uh, from many uh, shops and you, you'll see like lots of shops will provide um, many colorful flowers and that's all. Thank you very much. Let's move to the robots. Are you interested in robots? We are living in a modern era, of course. I am really interested and curious about it. Even few days ago, I watched a video related to robots uh, I, and I realized how much it is important and similar in nowadays. Do you like robots to work at your home? Well, um, yes, I, I would love it if uh, I see robots uh, in my house and near me. But I guess it is really costly for uh, people like us to afford robo a robot. Do you want to take a car which robot is the driver? Well, um, I, I have no idea about it uh, uh, as, I uh, never, as I have never uh, experienced such stuff but I think uh, it would be more and more adventurous if, um, not, if instead of human if a robot uh, will drive my car. Will robots replace human beings in the workplace completely? I believe um, as human um, uh, invented robots, so robots uh, will not be able to replace human. Of course, uh, uh, hair is a big contribution behind the robot of human. So I guess it is, a qu it is quite impossible. And that's the end of our part one. Let's move to the part two. In this part, I'll give a cue cut. And I would like to you to talk about one to two minutes about this topic. Before you speak, you also be given one minute to think what you want to say. And you can make notes if you wish. Do you understand? Okay, this is your pencil, this is a note, and this is your cue cut. Your topic is, describe a time when you receive money as a gift. 
you can make notes please Remember, you have one to two minutes to talk about it. So don't worry if I stop you, I'll tell you when the time is up. Please start speaking. Well, a time when I received money as a gift, it was in my last birthday. Uh, I guess it was uh, 6 a.m. when I woke up from uh, bed, I um, noticed that one message um, I got in my mobile phone. Then I checked it out as always I do. Then I uh, noticed that it was a message from my uh, bank uh, related to my bank account. I uh, probably uh, like $1,000 I received at that time. It was from my fufu. So uh, in the occasion or for the occasion, of my birthday Fufu sent me this uh, money uh, as a gift I was really really happy about that because I was really needed that money in the time uh, for uh, in order to um, replace a part in my PC which was uh, really bro uh, broken badly as well I had to buy a few clothes for me um, I mean I had to do some shopping so I had uh, done uh, shopping with that as well as I bought my PC part uh, with that money uh, not only that even in that day uh, for second time I received money from my parents as a gift because my parents were not home in that time uh, they had a work um, related uh, to uh, related a personal um, uh, personal uh, personal journey they had to um, go uh, went to um, India so they sent some money as a gift because they were was unable to uh, send any gift from uh, that place so that was a day when I received money and not only one because uh, twice time uh, and I really feel um, good about that and I was really happy um, at the end of the day uh, with that money do you love receiving money I told you I enjoyed it a lot so yes I love to receiving money as a gift because I can do whatever I want with that money very much that's the end of our part two. could you please hand over the booklet paper and pencil As we have been talking about a time when you receive money as a gift, in the third part of the test, I would like to ask you more questions related to your cue card. Okay? Yes. Is it important for children to have a right attitude toward money? Well, yes, I think children should learn and they should have right attitude because uh, it's a really sensitive um, uh, concept and, they, and it uh, could lead them uh, in a bad uh, path or it could lead them in a good path. So they should know and really, and parents should really concern um, about it. What do you think of the saying, love of money is the root of all evil? Well, I think uh, this saying is uh, really um, uh, true and, uh, and, and very uh, reliable, uh, related to us because um, uh, you see uh, the most of the crime, even I say 99% of the all crimes um, are for money. Uh, people are for the people for uh, as a victim of poverty, uh, people uh, who are needy for uh, money, they are doing crime and other stuff and wrong wrongdoings. So I think uh, this uh, saying is really, really Really, really true. Is it important to teach children how to manage their pocket money? Yes, I think uh, schools and colleges should start adding some lessons about it in their academic part because uh, it is really important. We are often noticed in um, newspaper and very many articles that um, the uh, people from a highly educated family or the children more specifically from highly educated family how they are um, buying drugs and other illegal stuffs with their pocket money and such high up, uh, amount they uh, got from their parents so and they should really um, know how to manage uh, uh, that what kind of occasion require people to send 
money as gift well i think um wedding in wedding ceremonies people should um uh, gift money um or like as a gift they should um send them some money i think uh, it would help them to reduce their cost because we know how expensive it is uh, to ar arrange a marriage uh, anniversary or marriage ceremony so that is the occasion i think in your country do parents give children money for doing housework I do not um, notice this or I uh, never experienced such th uh, tradition or culture in my country but I heard that in uh, many developed countries or in especially um, and more viably in western world uh, p uh, parents um, gift or like they provide um, their money to their children for doing like housework. I think uh, it really inspired children uh, to, um, uh, to cooperate with parents and uh, to um, like attend in housework. Do you think money can bring happiness? Yes, money can bring happiness, but uh, actually uh, it is really like important to know that how to utilize that money. If the money it is not uh, money is not utilized uh, proper in a proper way, then it could be a reason uh, or it could be a cause of uh, evil or bad things. That Thank you, sir. That's the end of our speaking test. Thank you, sir.